big was that for Sticks to have a game like that right before the, you know, right before Big Ten, right before the tournament? It was great. Um, uh, he stepped in the right direction where we all want him to be. Him, you know, having a game like that is, you know, it's a pl plus for us. It's a positive sign. Um, he's getting better as a player uh, off the court and on the court. And now we got to keep fitting in the ball, uh, you know, whenever we, we playing teams where, you know, he has the mismatch every time, so we got to keep getting the ball. He's being aggressive. Uh, he's going up stronger and finishing the ball, so we got to keep doing it. And just to follow up, in terms of the way they played without you in the first half, uh, obviously you, you want to be in there, but yeah. that's a good sign. Yeah, that, that, was, that was amazing to see. You know, um, obviously I'm a big part of, you know, what we're doing, and um, whenever I get in foul trouble, sometimes we go down as a team. But everybody was able to just, you know, stay locked in and, and do the things we do. Um, offensively and defensively, got a lot of styles, we, and we we even scored more points, and we just you know made a run from there. Bernard, it's been a couple times this year where you've gotten off to slow starts, but gotten you know yourself together in the second half and had nice games, a couple double doubles in there, including tonight. But what do you do, you know, to get yourself going at halftime and to keep yourself mentally focused to uh, to do that? Uh, I just try to stay in the game as much as I can. You know, it's hard at times. Um, you know, sometimes I try to figure out teams, you know, how they guard me in the first half. Um, you know, if they go, you know, double team, dig and all that. In Minnesota wasn't, they weren't really, you know, double team, double team. And whenever I took the dribble, they would come and dig. So, like, it kind of took me a little while to get, you know, adjusted to whatever they was playing on me. And I, you know, just make a play from there. Defensively tonight, you guys handcuffed me for the most part. What was the approach? What was the execution? It was just uh, staying connected. Um, the guards and the bigs, you know, showing on, on the screens and being able to stop him, make sure he passes the ball to the next man, and then everybody going to recover to a man. What was your view of the sticks block on Murphy? That was crazy. Oh, my God. That was crazy. That was a great block. Did I you like see it. that coming? Yeah, he got to do that more. I like it. Have you ever seen Sticks play as aggressive as he did tonight? It seems like he came out with you know kind of a fire lit under him. He played like that every day. I practice. It's just one game, but what does it mean going into the Big Ten tournament off the bounce of a victory like tonight, where you guys have a couple of days off to let this marinate? It's encouraging, you know. Obviously having a win, but you know at the same time we got to move on from that. That was the, way, the end of the regular season. Now we got to focus on the tournament. The tournament is different. Every team coming with a chip on their shoulders, so you know we got to be ready to you know keep executing and play the way we play and, and try to get wins. How many shots do you take left-handed to, to develop that left-handed hook? I saw you throw that up once mid-game. Um, I work on, you know, both things a lot. Um, every day I practice hook, like right-hand hooks and left-hand hooks. So the defense gave me, so I just used it. Uh, going back to before the game, even kept you guys in the dark. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerfourgates.com.